Hola Mujerista, I'm Shakira Barrera, an actress, dancer, humanitarian, and I have my friend here. Hola, my name is Marina Coy. I am Nicaraguense, and I was Miss Nicaragua 2016. Yes, she was. Like, being a beauty queen, to me, is like such a bizarre thing. I don't know, like, do you wake up in the morning and you're like, I am like beautiful. You know, like when I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I'm like, I need serious hair and makeup. Like when you look in the mirror, do you feel beautiful or do you have to do things to get to that? It depends a lot on what you're like feeling in that moment. For example, you feel a lot of pressure of people because um, you're going to represent the whole country. So you have days where you're like more excited and you have other days when you're like, like you're feeling the pressure, you get overwhelmed, or you're not that happy about yourself. So it really depends on the mood you are in that day. But like sometimes I do wake up, and I'm like, oh, I, I look nice today. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I think everyone like has that with like when you wake up and you're like, it's not. You're just, just not feeling like, yourself. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. though you, you do your makeup, you do your hair, and yeah. you're great, but you, you you're not actually feeling it. You lack inner confidence. Yes. Yeah, I always wondered that. I always wanted to ask you that. Like, how did she feel like, you know? I have my days. <laughs> That's good. No, I'm hey. sure, because I sure don't. I'm the total opposite. So I, I respect you for, for that. And like, I'm so happy that you are representing, you know, my, my country as well. Oh, um, thank you. As you know, I'm Nicaraguense Americana. Yes. And I know you were born in Nicaragua. So it's nice like to, have you here and you know somebody who's actually born in Nicaragua and you know now living in LA it, right. it's really just it's beautiful I don't know many Nicaraguenses so I'm, a, I'm really glad I'm here with you so let's talk a little bit about you you're in Glow yes. a Netflix show and cheers that's to like them. amazing because right now Netflix is a huge deal so right. so tell me about it like how do you get cast it or, or, I don't know, auditions, how did everything work out? You'll find out it's purely just, you know, preparation, having agents that really care about you and really submit you because they can choose to submit anyone in their roster who's right for the role. So I have, you know, great agents who were looking out for me at the time. Actually, before I got Glow, I was agent-less uh, for six, seven months. Okay. So I, I didn't have representation. My agency actually turned into a management company and they were like, sorry, like we, we, you already have a manager, so you're on your own. And I was like, what? I, I've been with you for three years. Like, how do I walk? So I was it, out. To ask you, what's the difference between a manager and an agent? You know, they do blend. So a manager is basically somebody who normally is longevity of your career. So they're really an extension of you. You should be comfortable with a manager handling any phone call. And they should know, you know, you're morally, what you would stand for, you know, and stylistically, um, events that you would want to attend. So I think your manager, you know, tends to know you a little bit better than an agent. Okay. Um, so agents come more often, and I, I tend to think that a manager is somebody who's always going to be with you and looking out for you. And you like, trust more the, the manager. Exactly. But at the time, um, I didn't have an agent, and my manager did not submit me to auditions um, at that time, uh, but I was training and I mean, I really felt like I needed to keep going even though right. nothing was really there for me at the time audition wise. Then I ended up um, finding my agent, uh, Kevin, and I remember I just went into that meeting and I, I was just different. I, I was like, I need to do something different. I need to be better in every, every area of my life. Not just acting, but like a better person, a better human. Um, I started doni donating to Pajarito Azul mm -hmm. in, in Nicaragua, which is a hospital that is for um, kids who are disabled. So I remember I you know, really wanted to get to my Nicaraguan roots and I was like, I need to donate to this hospital. And at the time, that's what I was doing, is being selfless. And they ended up, that agent ended up signing me. After six, seven months of having meetings, everyone said no, and that particular agent was just like, that's it. And Glow was my second audition. That's great. 
time, it's crazy. So, you know that right now I'm pursuing acting. And in my acting class, I just realized that when there are dancing scenes with the discos, there's no music. And I was shocked because I thought, I don't know. Yeah, because people are really actually dancing <laughs> hard and hard. Did you know that it's not real alcohol in their cups? <laughs> I heard that too. A couple of yeah. Ago. yeah. And actually, um, if you're smoking cigarettes on set, they cannot be real cigarettes. They're always herbal cigarettes, which tastes horrible. And and oh, you always have to think about like, do I want it? Because you know you have to do it over and over and over. So I'm always like, damn it. Like, I should have done it. Yeah, yeah. Here you come. Oh my God. <laughs> and you know, sometimes if it's weed, it's the same herbal stuff, but if it's weed, you have to like really, you know, take it in and inhale it for it to look believable. So sometimes you even get like a little lightheaded and dizzy. But yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. What about sex scenes? Sex scenes. Have you ever done one? <laughs> you think? That'd be crazy. Sex scenes. I have actually recently. Uh, they're very awkward. I mean, extremely awkward. Well, um, what were you doing on the scene? Like, I was actually. Well, he was on top of me and was missionary. I know. Very vivid. <laughs> um, it's like our first <laughs> meeting, and I'm like, you know, just imagine me. Missionary, done. We we got a side angle of that, so he actually like, was on top of me, and I had to like bend my knees to create the motion of the you know the sex, yes, of yeah. pumping. <laughs> um, so that was most awkward because they had to get the side version, which means he had to be on top of me. So I was just like, you know, as believable as I could be in, in that. My first sex scene of a, a woman. Um, I think the wife of the director, she asked uh, Shakira, would you feel more comfortable if I was in the room? And I was like, yes, I would totally feel more comfortable if a woman was in the room. Right, of course. But in learning that, I much prefer less eyes. The okay. least amount of people in the room, that the better. Because I feel like, you know, all eyes on me, it's, too, it's such you, a private, you know, it's Are you like thing. actually naked completely or? No, you are not naked. <laughs> well, I was not in, in my scene, but there are, you know, but things that you see that like you're naked. Oh, like, yeah, I mean, I'm in a bra. I was in a bra for that okay, scene. Okay. But, like, for Glow, we, we have nudity contracts, and I, you know, I'm always ready to take my clothes off. Okay. That's why I work out, right? <laughs> my mom would be I'm so sorry. proud. <laughs> anyway, so taking it back to you, um, how did it feel winning? Miss Nicaragua, and I, I, I want to take you back like two years ago to what that moment was like for you, seeing so many women wanting the same thing, fighting for it. I'm sure you prepared so much. Um, we were holding hands, and then they said, La primera finalista is Briani, which is the first one of And then I just started crying, but I don't really remember what like what was going through my head. I remember like thinking, okay, if, if I win, I'm gonna look at my parents to see what they're doing. Like they're crying, they're, I don't know. You in the blacked moment, out, you yeah. blacked out. It was Completely. such a shock. Oh my God. And, and I started crying and I just, yeah, like I see the videos back and I, I don't really know what I was thinking. I was just crying and, and like, oh my God, when the, the Missy Girl was 2015 was about like, to put the crown on me, I just started crying like, really bad and yeah, you had it. Yeah, so my pictures, yeah, my pictures like <laughs> like trying to smile but not really. Oh my god. Yeah, with the crown. It was it was a really special moment. Then it was crazy, like you need to take a moment to internalize. Is that what yeah, that is? Um that you are Miss Nicaragua. It's yeah. you. Yeah, like you are that like, you, you need to tell it to yourself like something Nicaragua, so Nicaragua, so and then um the director like takes you like you feel cool because you're like the, oh the team, all of the administration that was before in charge of all of the girls that were like 16 I think 16 or 12 are now in charge of you so you're like oh this, yeah. yeah like everyone is in that's so um, beautiful that's beautiful yeah and then we had like an after party and the people coming at me and saying like, congratulations I'm so proud oh, like, that we're in the country yeah, yeah. it's it feels great. I like. I, Do you I talk to the girls? Yeah, a couple. One of them is living here in LA. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we go out. We should invite her. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally. Just get a tribe. <laughs>
So, I know you're gonna hate me, but <laughs> I've always wanted to learn how to properly do that. Okay, I'm not sure if that is really a thing. It's not? No. Okay, so you're, you're not like something authentic. Like, I, I've seen some girls do this and I, I don't personally like it. It's, I just think yeah, it's weird. Totally. I'm just Hi or bye or <laughs> yeah, not not. So not there's it. no technique. No. Wow. You, it's not like you have a class to learn how to wear. Yeah, I honestly, I I'm just you know I, you're my first beauty queen that I've ever you know, interviewed, so that's news to me. Yeah. Is there anything um, that you besides the walk? I mean, I'm sure. You yeah. Know how to walk for that you know how to. Yeah, you you need to learn how. To, you need to train. Yeah, for the walk. But besides that, it's you no. Know, it's just about yourself. Yeah, you just have to be you, and no, no, no. Okay, so we don't do this, guys. <laughs> we just, if you want to win. Or maybe, you know, maybe just sometimes, because you're, you're like awkward, so you're like, bye. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>